welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Today we're looking at HM Prison Hatfield. Formerly HMP or Young Offenders Institution Moreland Open is a Category D men's prison and young offenders institution located near Hatfield Woodhouse in South Yorkshire, England. The prison is operated by Her Majesty's Prison Service. In August 2006, a report from Her Majesty's Chief Inspector of Prisons stated that both Moreland and HMP and Young Offenders Institution Hatfield prisons were well managed and provided a safe and respectful environment from inmates and staff. However, the report also claimed that there is more of a third of prisoners who were unoccupied at HMP and Young Offenders Institution Hatfield, with a lengthy waiting list of inmates wanting to join education classes. Weeks later, it was revealed that in a three-year period, 190 inmates had escaped from Hatfield. The prison service did not have statistics on how many of these inmates had been recaptured, but claimed that most would have been returned to a closed prison at some point. In 2010, HMP Moreland Open changed its name to HMP Hatfield, which is still managed jointly with HMP Moreland. On the 13th of July 2011, it was announced that HMP Hatfield will be put out to tender, accepting bids from private companies and Her Majesty's Prison Service for the management of the establishment. Prisoners are usually transferred from other prisons, especially Moreland Closed Prison, to complete their sentences at HMP Hatfield. Accommodation at the prison comprises four units for adult male prisoners and one unit for young offenders. All cells are single occupancy. Adult prisoners at HMP Hatfield are usually placed in resettlement employment with outside companies with guaranteed minimum wage. Young offenders are usually placed in education and vocational training. Courses include industrial cleaning and catering. One notable inmate was Nassim Hamed, who was known for his unconventional boxing antics. In July 2011, it was announced that Hatfield, along with Moreland and HMP Lindholm, both large, closed Category C prisons, will be part of the PCP2 market testing program. The prison service had bid to manage the three prisons in a clustering arrangement, but the contract was initially awarded to the private sector, a decision which was subsequently reversed in 2013, and the prison remained in public ownership run by HMPS. During 2012 to 2013, Hatfield was part of the South Yorkshire Cluster, but has since become a standalone resettlement establishment. Hatfield officially separated from HMP Moreland in April 2014, and has also taken over the previous HMP Lindholm Eye Wing, known as the Lake Site, which since June 2015 has been used to accommodate all new arrivals for an initial three month period before they progress to the main Hatfield site. There are approximately 8 residential units, A to F on the main site and G to H on the lake site, approximately 4 miles from the main site. A, B and C units are 20 rooms per landing across 3 floors. D and E accommodate 40 prisoners across 2 floors. And F unit is a self-contained 6 bed unit that provides independent living for 6 prisoners. G and H units each accommodate 56 prisoners. Offending behaviour groups included enhanced thinking skills courses, welfare to work and job clubs. A listener scheme for those prisoners who may be at risk from suicide or self-harm is also operated. The prison runs various three accredited offending behaviour programmes, including thinking skills which addresses the prisoner's cognitive skills, allowing them to look at problem solving in relation to their offending behaviour and general life decisions and CALM, which is an anger management program addressing issues of emotional violence in relation to offending behaviour. The medical facilities and support is supplied by Nottinghamshire Healthcare NHS Trust. The prison, in conjunction with its education provider, the Manchester College, run a variety of educational courses to assist the prisoners. Facilities within the prison include industrial cleaning, with a BIC qualification available, gardening catering, as well as a community task force undertaking work outside the prison confines. The prison has links with outside companies and encourages the adult prisoners to gain employment with them when nearing the end of their custodial sentence. The prison was inspected during August 2019. In this report, the inspector said that Hatfield is a Category D resettlement prison for men situated near Doncaster in South Yorkshire. The prison is split across two sites, a main site and a further site that used to form part of HMP Lindholm that is now used for receptions into the prison and is usually referred to as Hatfield Lakes or the Lake Site. At the time of this inspection the prison held a little under 380 men, of whom around 70 were aged over 50. 
and the prison was last inspected in 2015, on which occasion it attracted the highest grading of good in all four of our healthy prison tests. On this occasion, the prison, again, inspected very well, achieving good grades across the board. A new governor was in the process of taking up post during this inspection, but the prison had benefited from consistent leadership over a number of years, which was also reflected in what appeared to be a settled, mature and very competent staff group. The prison was unequivocally safe, violence was very rare, and the overwhelming majority of prisoners felt safe and staff struggled to recall the last time there had been an assault. No incidents of self-harm had been recorded in the year preceding the inspection, and the impression that I gained was that the institution was relaxed and well-ordered. The incentive scheme operated well, and the numbers placed on the report was lower than any other Category D prisons in the use of force was also very rare. The inspector was very impressed to learn that if a prisoner transgressed in some way, rather than halt his potential progression with an immediate return to closed conditions, he would typically be sent to Lakeside for a period of assessment in order to decide the best way forward. It seemed to him that this approach had much to commend it. Relationships between staff and prisoners were good and there was a clear sense of community. However, the prison was not funded for the Offender Management in Custody program which limited the amount of time available for staff to interact on a one-to-one -one basis with prisoners. There was also a need to conduct further work and analysis to understand inequalities and perceptions of inequality, revealed both by our survey and the prison data. We also felt that a broader review of consultation arrangements would be beneficial to demonstrate the value of what was being done, as part of a broader work to improve confidence in the complaints process. Although generally the sites were in good condition and living conditions reasonable, some units were showing signs of age and needed refurbishment. We were given to understand that funding for this work had been bid for, but had already been allocated elsewhere, and would not become available for at least two years. As was to be expected in an establishment of this kind, time out of cell was excellent. Our colleagues from Ofsted judged that the leadership and management of learning, skills and work were good and the achievement of qualifications on most courses was at a very high level. One in five prisoners were released into the community on employment and training placements, although it was not always possible to see clear linkages between these placements and long-term career aspirations on release. The number of releases on temporary license was dependent upon individual members of staff with extensive local knowledge, energy and expertise, rather than robust documented processes. Nevertheless, we felt that the overall provision of purposeful activity remained good in terms of our healthy prison test. It was also pleasing to see that home detention curfew processes were well managed, with all applications during the past six months having been approved and most put into action at the earliest opportunity. It was also good to see that the multi-agency public protection arrangement or MAPA levels were confirmed before prisoners gained access to release on temporary license, which is better than we often see. It is also pleasing to see that no prisoners had been released homeless during the previous six months, and that every prisoner was discussed at a discharge board prior to release, which we consider to be good practice. This was obviously a very positive inspection, and it is good to see that after the previous excellent inspection in 2015, complacency has not been allowed to take root. Hatfield was a well-run and decent establishment, fulfilling its role in preparing men for their release. There was much to commend and the leadership of the staff should take pride in what they have achieved and how they encourage the prisoners to play an active role in making it safe, decent and purposeful establishment. The public have been warned not to approach a robber as he goes on run from Doncaster Jail. A man's gone on the run from a Doncaster Jail and police who are searching for him are warning the public not to approach him. South Yorkshire's Police Prison Crime Unit says that Almas Eula has absconded from HMP Hatfield and is appealing to the public to help catch him. They have revealed that he had previously been jailed for robbery before he went missing from the site near Thorn Road on Hatfield. Mr. Eula, aged 33, was seen leaving the open prison on Sunday May the 2nd at around 5.30pm without authority and is now wanted for absconding from lawful custody. The police revealed that he is currently serving an intermediate sentence for robbery. Mr. Eula is 5 foot 6 inches and of slim build. He currently has a full beard and has two scars, one on his left arm and the other down the centre of his stomach. He also has two tattoos, the name Kath on his left arm and a Chinese symbol on his right arm. A spokesman for South Yorkshire Police said that Mr Yula has known links to Leeds and Bradford, so could have travelled to West Yorkshire. Next, we're looking at a convicted killer who escaped from Doncaster Open Prison on Christmas Eve and police had no idea where he was. 
The inmate that was serving a sentence for burglary escaped from an open prison in Hatfield, Doncaster. Ryan Hill, 41, had previously been jailed for manslaughter in 2008, but was recalled to prison for burglary last year. He left Hatfield Prison on Christmas Eve and has not returned since. Prison staff noticed that Hill was missing at around 10.30pm and notified police, but officers have been unable to locate him. They're now asking for the public to help them track Hill down, who is described as being around 6 foot 3 inches tall with a medium build and blonde hair. One of his front teeth is missing and he has a number of tattoos, including one saying Bulldog, Bulldog, Breed, Oggy, on his right arm. Mr Hill is known to have links to Wakefield and Upton areas of West Yorkshire, as well as Milton Keynes, Buckinghamshire and Salbury near Thirsk, North Yorkshire. So what are your thoughts on Her Majesty's Prison and Young Offenders Institution Hatfield? Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, stay safe.